Hello guys, welcome to part 3 of making a full stack shopping website tutorial. In this video, we will integrate Tailwind CSS in our website. And how we do that? Just stay with this video. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, click the subscribe button, make it go silver, click the bell icon and uh, you know turn on the notifications for all of my future videos. Like this video, share this video with your buddies, with your family, with your friends, with your all of your relatives, siblings, doesn't really matter. And uh, comment down below and how you are enjoying the series and uh, what type of videos you want in the future. Well, my friends, let's get started. We will just open, first of all, our browser and we will go to Tailwind, we'll say Tailwind CSS with next. So we, there is a first link that means that it, it, it just says install Tailwind CSS with Next.js. Let's click on it and we have just ignored the first week as we already created our project. Install Tailwind CSS. Let's click copy here. Okay, just click copy. Open your Visual Studio code. And inside of our, we need to go inside of a client folder because we want Tailwind CSS to be installed in a client folder, not in our no main folder not in our shopping website folder because we also have the server folder there okay we'll close all the folders like that and we'll just paste the command and hit enter and let it do the work okay you don't have to worry about anything so work is going on and that's a good thing okay so the things are done right just click here uh, you know type clear hit enter everything will be cleared there let's go back and here we have something for our tailwind.config.css we will go to tailwind.config.css here is it paste all of the things so what it exactly say it is is saying it's just saying okay read tailwind css uh, in the page folder and in the components folder so basically whenever you make any applications we usually only have two folders one is the page folder that means wherever all of our routes are, all of our main files are, that needs to be connected with the server, that needs to be rendered the server-sided or rendered statically. And then we have another folder called this components, where we usually put the files that don't, don't, that don't need to be included in the router, and they don't have to get rendered server, you know, uh, server-sided, server-sided, or they don't have to rend be rendered in uh, using a static method. So they're just like, you know, they mostly are about like footers or about us page something like that so that's about the components folder that's about the components file and now we will close it okay now we need to go back here here we have three lines of code we need to copy this one and we need to paste it in our global.css like I told you before just paste it there and yeah that's all you don't have to do anything else now we need to go in our client folder and we need to say yarn dev if you're using yarn it means it's just going to run your node it will run your next javascript applications so you can also say yarn dev build so it will build the new next.js folder inside the, your client folder but leave it we'll just say yarn dev and hit enter so it it has started our server it has started our next.js server on localhost colon 3000 you can just hold a uh, control and click on it it will open this link in the browser itself and here, congratulations guys, we are finally seeing full stack shopping website. Well, that was an easy step. You can see I have the edit for edit things like that. But I but it's, you will not see something like that because there are some bugs going on with my uh, Microsoft Edge browser. So I need to figure out that thing. What is wrong with it? But other than that, everything looks pretty good. Okay. So that was it for this video, and uh, without wasting the time, I will close the server, and I will do git add, I will just upload all the new things to our GitHub repository. Part 3, git push origin main. Okay, we need to comment M, my bad. Git push origin main and we have 
successfully uploaded the latest file in our GitHub repository, you will get notified about every single new things that we are doing in my on my GitHub repository. So just make sure to solve this repository. That will be much appreciated. Well, that was it for this video. I hope you like it, and I will come back the new video soon. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, turn the, the notifications on, follow off my video, follow all of my videos, like this video, share this video, comment down below how you like this video, how is the series going on, and what type of videos you want to see in the future. Well, that for this, that was it, guys. I will like to see you in the future. Have a nice day. Bye bye. See you, Nara.